Hey beautiful soul, Alice here. Welcome to day 27 of this VEDA series. And if you're new here and you've never heard of VEDA, VEDA stands for Vlog Every Day in the Month of April or Vlog Every Day in the Month of August. And for this VEDA, I'm doing 30 days of self-love. The intention is to spread more love and positive vibes out into this world in this time of uncertainty. Alright, without further ado, let's dive into today's topic. In my previous video, I talked about the importance of setting boundaries and how you can do that. Today, I want to expand on this topic and talk about how you can protect your own energy and stay on a high frequency. With the you-know-what situation going on right now, a lot of people are self-isolating, social distancing, or in some sort of quarantine situation. And there's a lot of worry and uncertainty and people feel like there's this big threat out there and there's this need to keep to themselves and stay indoors, protect themselves and block out all these potential threats out there. This is one of the main reasons I believe one of the misconceptions I'm about to talk about stems from. Because of all the fear and doubt and uncertainty, some people just want to protect themselves and feel the need to draw a line and that's where this misconception happens. They feel like, oh, I need to protect my own energy and stay in my high vibe state on a high frequency. Therefore, I'm going to block out everything in the news. This, this you know what situation, it's not happening. Whenever people talk about it, I'm just gonna go like la 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 la. This is all an illusion, it's not happening, no no no. And I'm just gonna like block out the messages from all these like people that are worrying and spreading all the negativity. I'm not gonna talk to these low vibe people. Let me only talk to the spiritual, the, the, the awakened and the high vibe people. Let me focus on my meditations and, and do my like like inner work and, and spiritual work. Let me stay in my bubble so I can be safe. What's ironic is when you act out of fear, you're actually putting your focus on the thing you fear, which is extra work and effort and energy put towards the direction that's the opposite of where you want to go. And today I want to share two tips that will help you stay calm and be in a more peaceful state when there's a lot of chaos going on. My first tip is stay informed but don't deep dive into the news. I believe it's necessary for us to stay informed. So I still watch the news just a little bit, just enough so I stay in the know. So I know if there are, for example, new regulations we need to follow because of this you know what situation. But I do avoid being exposed to too much of the content provided by the media. Like binge watching what's going on on TV, in the news, reading all the social media feeds about the you know what situation, it doesn't help. All it does is feed negative information to your subconscious. When people deep dive into all the drama, the negative information, and even conspiracy theories, they start to feel the need to spread the information. It's like gossiping. They just want people to know about this. For example, when the you know what situation first started, my mom would text me every single day and update me on numbers. Like how many people died so far? And one day I just said to her, no, I'm drawing the line. This has to stop. Do not update me on the numbers anymore. What I care about the most is whether or not you and dad are okay. Just tell me whether or not you're okay. If you're doing fine, if you're okay, then all is good. Tip number two, learn to be the observer and not get emotionally attached to negative information. Yes, negative things happen in the world, but at the same time, know that positive things also happen in the world every single day. When you learn how to observe your thoughts, your feelings, and what you do, you create space between you and the outside situations. And 
that allows you to respond and make wiser decisions. Do you want to put your focus on the negative thoughts and feelings, or would you rather choose to focus on the positive things and positive feelings and then take positive actions? If you consider yourself a light worker, an earth angel, a star seed, or just someone who wants to have a positive impact on the world, just know that we're here to assist people in their spiritual awakening, their ascension. We're here to help raise the collective consciousness. And the misconception I just mentioned earlier, it comes from a me, 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 me state of mind. Know that we're all in this together. We're helping one another as one, as, as one. And when I talked about drawing the line in my previous video, what I meant was always keep your own well-being in mind while helping others. Don't give, give, give at the expense of your own well-being. There will be times you need to take a step back and heal your own energy, sort of recharge, but help others when you can. Help others with what you do best because that's what you're here for. So that's what I wanted to share with you today. Did you resonate with what I just talked about? If you did, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe, hit that bell button if you want to see more videos on related content. And I want to know, how are you doing? How are you feeling in this you-know-what situation? Are you doing okay? And let's start spreading positivity. So type in the comments below. List three things that went well in your life over the past week. All right, that's about it for today. I will be back with another video on self-love tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Bye.